Why silicon? Because it has 10 times the capacity for lithium compared to graphite. EVs will go 50% farther and charge in five or 10 minutes. Today, EV batteries still have the same problems they've had for years. Short range, flammable, high cost, heavy, and long charge times. However, scientists have discovered a novel new battery chemistry that looks like it's the one to make all these problems a thing of the past. It can effectively make EVs drive 10 times farther. If this works and becomes scalable, then it will surely make gasoline-powered vehicles a thing of the past. Join us as we take a look at this new silicon anode battery technology that scientists just discovered. A group of researchers from Pohang University of Science and Technology, Postec, have achieved a truly remarkable breakthrough that has the potential to completely transform the battery industry. Their discovery could lead to a revolutionary advancement in energy storage technology, especially at a time when the electric vehicle sector is rapidly expanding. In every battery, there's a critical part called the anode. This element is responsible for both storing and releasing the energy that powers our devices and vehicles. While the majority of modern lithium-ion batteries employ graphite as their anode material, scientists have long been aware that alternative materials like silicon possess a significantly higher energy storage capacity. One of the key reasons why silicon is an exciting prospect is its impressive theoretical capacity for storing lithium ions, which is considerably higher than that of graphite. This means that a battery using silicon as an anode could store significantly more energy, potentially leading to longer lasting and more powerful batteries. The global market for silicon anode batteries has been on a steady rise, reflecting the growing interest and demand for advanced energy storage solutions. In 2019, this market was estimated to be worth around $170 million, and experts predict that it will continue to expand at a compound annual growth rate CAGR, of approximately 21.5% during the forecast period. Several factors are driving this growth trajectory. Firstly, the rapid evolution of the electronics industry has fueled the need for more efficient and long-lasting battery technologies. As electronic devices become more sophisticated and more power-hungry, there's a growing demand for batteries that can keep up with these energy requirements. Secondly, the increasing prevalence of microelectronic devices, such as wearables, sensors, and IoT gadgets, has spurred the need for compact and lightweight power sources. Silicon anode batteries have the potential to fulfill these demands by offering higher energy density in a smaller form factor. Perhaps the most significant driving force behind the rising demand for silicon anode batteries is the global shift toward electric and hybrid vehicles. As the automotive industry embraces more sustainable transportation solutions, the demand for high-performance batteries with longer ranges and faster charging times has surged. However, there has been a major obstacle standing in the way of realizing the benefits of silicon anodes – instability. When silicon is used as an anode material in batteries, it tends to undergo a problematic expansion during the charging and discharging processes. This expansion can cause the battery to become unstable and less reliable over time, ultimately limiting the lifespan and effectiveness of the battery. Now, though, a team of accomplished professors from Postec, led by Professors Su Jin Pak and Yoon Soo Kim, joined forces with Professor Jagon Ryu from Sogang University to overcome a significant obstacle in battery technology. One type of polymer binder is based on chemical cross-linking, which involves covalent bonding between binder molecules, making them solid. Covalent bonds are strong bonds that share electrons between atoms. However, chemical cross-linking has a fatal flaw. Once broken, the bonds cannot be restored. This means that if the anode materials expand and contract too much, the polymer binder will break and lose its function. Another type of polymer binder is based on hydrogen bonding, which is a reversal secondary bonding between molecules based on electronegativity differences. Electronegativity is a measure of how strongly an atom attracts electrons. Hydrogen bonding occurs when a hydrogen atom that is attached to a highly electronegative atom, such as oxygen or nitrogen, forms a weak attraction with another electronegative atom. 
hydrogen bonding is weaker than covalent bonding, but it has an advantage. It can be broken and reformed easily. This means that if the anode materials expand and contract, the polymer binder can adjust and maintain its function. A research team from the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, CASE, made a new polymer binder that is better than both chemical crosslinking and hydrogen bonding. It uses two kinds of forces to stick to the anode materials, hydrogen bonding and columbia forces. Columbic forces are strong forces that come from opposite charges attracting each other. The new polymer binder has both positive and negative charges, so it can match the negative charges on the surface of the high-capacity nanomaterials that are used as the anode. The team also added another substance called polyethylene glycol to make the polymer binder more flexible and let the lithium ions move faster through it. Lithium ions are the positive particles that carry the energy in lithium ion batteries. This breakthrough development has paved the way for the creation of a stable lithium battery that boasts an energy storage capacity at least 10 times higher than conventional batteries employing traditional graphite-based anodes. The impact of this achievement is profound as it aligns seamlessly with the ongoing global efforts aimed at enhancing battery technology. In short, it could be the end of all the problems we currently have with EV batteries. Researchers and companies worldwide are diligently exploring novel avenues to optimize batteries, making them more efficient, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly. For instance, a pioneering Chinese company has made significant strides by introducing an electric vehicle battery that employs sodium instead of the more expensive lithium. Also, beyond the Earth's surface, even space agency NASA is diligently working towards refining battery technology. Their research pursuits have led to the development of smaller and lighter solid-state batteries, presenting a promising alternative to traditional lithium-ion batteries. Meanwhile, on a more unconventional front, another innovative researcher has tapped into the extraordinary potential of natural materials. By utilizing the unique properties of crab shells, they are working towards creating biodegradable batteries. The recent advancements in battery technology are making the transition to clean and renewable energy sources much more feasible. Clean energy sources like wind and solar power are incredibly efficient at generating electricity without causing pollution. However, one of the challenges with these sources is their intermittent nature. Unlike burning fuels such as gasoline or coal, which can produce energy on demand, solar and wind energy rely on the weather conditions. They generate electricity when the sun shines or the wind blows, and this energy needs to be stored for use when conditions are not favorable. This is where improved battery technology comes into play. Batteries act as energy storage systems, allowing the excess energy generated during sunny or windy periods to be saved and used when the weather is cloudy or calm. In this way, batteries bridge the gap between energy production and consumption, ensuring a continuous and reliable energy supply. The recent breakthroughs in battery capacity and stability, such as the one achieved by the researchers at Postec, enables these batteries to store much more energy than before, making them even more efficient at supporting clean energy sources. Additionally, the significance of advanced batteries extends to the realm of transportation particularly electric vehicles. Unlike traditional internal combustion engine vehicles that carry their fuel with them, EVs need to carry their power supply in the form of a battery. The efficiency and capacity of these batteries directly influence the driving range of EVs. The higher the energy density of the battery, the farther an electric car can travel on a single charge. By increasing the energy storage capacity of batteries, as demonstrated by the research at Postec, EVs can overcome one of the common challenges they face, range anxiety. Professor Park explained this discovery and its importance. He said, the research holds the potential to significantly increase the energy density of lithium ion batteries through the incorporation of high capacity anode materials, thereby extending the driving range of electric vehicles. Silicon-based anode materials could potentially increase the driving range at least tenfold. Think about it like this. If we make today's batteries hold twice as much energy, not only would their range increase significantly, but they would also become lighter, more efficient, and more appealing to everyday drivers. Consider the Tesla Model Y standard range, 
one of the most popular electric vehicles on the market. Currently, it can travel around 450 kilometers, 280 miles, on a single charge. Now, if we were to enhance the battery technology and double its energy density, the range could potentially skyrocket to 900 kilometers, 560 miles. This would put the Model Y in a league of its own, outperforming the vast majority of conventional gasoline-powered cars in terms of distance traveled on a single tank of fuel. Now, if we double that again, we're looking at an astonishing range of nearly 2,000 kilometers, 1,240 miles. That's like driving from New York City to Miami without needing to stop for a charge. That's the kind of amazing possibility that this new technology could bring. However, as with any groundbreaking scientific discovery, there are factors to consider. Even if this technology is as promising as it sounds, it typically takes a considerable amount of time to transition from the laboratory to the real world. Scientists need to fine-tune and test the technology rigorously to ensure its safety, efficiency, and reliability. This process can take anywhere from 5 to 10 years or more before the technology becomes commercially viable and available to the general public. So, while the idea of batteries with significantly increased energy density is truly exciting and full of potential, it's important to temper our enthusiasm with a dose of patience. The journey from laboratory breakthrough to widespread commercial use is a complex and time-consuming one. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.